Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this ASUS VivoBook 15. Uh, this is the model F512D. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, the screws, these, uh, uh, these five screws are the same size and then this screw is a bit longer and then the four screws at the bottom are the shortest so don't mix them up try and keep them in order okay once you get the cover uh, once you get all the screws off to remove the bottom cover what you do is you open the screen a little so that way you can just grab the the bottom piece and then just um, hold it with your fingers on the bottom here and then push with your thumbs uh, on the blue part okay just like this um, when you do that, when you do that, you'll see it pops open like that. Then you can hold the black piece and then slide your fingernail or pry tool in between the two layers. Okay, do that all the way around, just like this. Okay, just go all the way around. After you get the sides and the front out, the back side, you don't have to pry it. You just lift off the cover. And then while you're lifting um, this part here, um, then you push forward. So you kind of wobble it and push forward. Let me see if I can show that. But basically you wobble this. Um, let's see, hmm, it's actually not coming out. So you might have to actually pry the little corner here, yeah. So pry this one little corner with your fingernail and then the rest should come out pretty easily. So you do have to kind of work it with your finger, sorry. All right, just like that. Okay, and then you got the cover off just like that. So this computer, the design is kind of not very good. I don't know why they designed the cooling like this, but the fan is here and then they got, I believe this is the GPU heatsink and then the CPU heatsink. Um, but the design, I mean, they made a little gap here for the air to kind of flow underneath, but it's not very efficient. Um, normally what they do is they put a heatsink with a bunch of cooling fins for the air to blow through to increase the surface area for the heat to be removed from this but this setup is kind of not good so basically the air will blow through here and it's supposed to go out these holes but i mean the air can go anywhere inside this device so it's kind of just slowly heating up the entire internals of the computer and i mean it's blowing the hot air from the gpu onto the cpu so it's kind of doesn't make sense um, but anyways, this has a DDR4 RAM slot. Um, I'm not sure the speed of the RAM, but it's DDR4. And then there's an M.2 uh, SATA SSD. I don't know, it might support PCIe or NVMe, but this looks to be a budget laptop, so probably not. Um, you can try it. Um, that, you'd probably have to look up some specs. So to remove the battery, which usually is the first thing you want to do once you open it, you don't want to touch all the other stuff because you can damage it. Um, but basically remove, there's three screws at the top here. Okay, so remember to keep them in order because they're all different. So there's a black screw here and then there's two silver screws, uh, one here and one here. Um, these screws, I believe the silver ones are the same size. So, so once you do that, you can take this bracket off and set it aside. And then there's one more screw down here holding this piece in place. So remove that screw. Um, okay. Once you remove those screws, um, to get the battery out, what you want to do is there's this silver piece here. You want to slide this up. So just push on with your fingernail and just push it upwards just like that. And then you can actually lift the connector out like that. Okay. Usually once you do that, um, you probably don't want to remove the screws yet until after you move this connector, but once you do that, you want to hold the power button to drain any power from the board. Usually do it to be safe 30 seconds, but usually 5-10 seconds is good enough. Um, okay, so hold the power button, and then after that, to get this battery out after you remove the screws, um, you have to un unhook all these wires. So the speaker wire is kind of routed through the bottom of the battery, so unloop that. And then there's also the wireless antennas that you need to unloop from there as well. So to remove the wireless antennas, you can see this one came out pretty easily, but you just go close to the tail and then lift it up. Okay, after you do that, you can unloop all these wires. Okay, so this is underneath the battery, so you wanna remove them. Okay, once you do that, you can lift from the right side 
um, and then there's a hook here so you have to lift from this side and then you can lift it out just like that okay so here's the battery if for some reason you need to replace it um, the model is I don't know if you can see it C21 N as in Nancy 1818-1 so that's the model number of this okay then you can see there's the trackpad cable there's actually two going to the trackpad um, I guess one's for the left and one's for the right and then you got the keyboard cable here and a keyboard backlight cable here the wireless card you just remove the one screw it'll pop up at an angle just like ram sticks usually do and then you can wiggle it out and remove it um, to put it back sit, put it back in the same uh, angle and then you got this cable for this board with the two usb ports and the two lights um, it also controls the fan here um, that cable runs actually underneath this board so if you want to remove this side of the cable you have to take the board out but you can remove this side easily just by flipping this black part of the latch and then you can pull the cable out and I think yeah there's an adhesive holding this so if you pull it out just be careful not to bend the cable too much okay I'm gonna leave it in there and then push that back down the fan connector to remove it you just grip it with your fingernails and you just slowly keep wiggling it and it'll eventually pop out just like that there you go I'm gonna put it back in all right there you go all right, and that's pretty much all there is. There's the, of course, the speaker runs along here. The wireless antennas go um, along the speakers. Um, I think this copper one might actually be, oh yeah. So the antennas are actually connected to the speaker. They, they taped them on there. So they're probably, you can peel them off, but they, they seem to be like, if you wanna replace the um, antennas, they're kind of attached to the speaker, so it's going to be tough to peel them out. Um, then you got the speaker connector here. Same thing as the fan. You just grip it with your fingernails, and you kind of just wiggle it and pull it out. Um, and then the SD, uh, SSD M.2, you just take the screw again, lift it slightly at an angle, and wiggle it, and you can pull it out. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. There's also the LCD connector here. Um, there's an adhesive on this clear strip that you can peel up, and then after that, you can pull it back. Um, you'll probably want to remove this foam, but, um, yeah, it's a pretty standard build. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video helped you and then to put it back, just do the opposite. Again, the battery needs to go in at an angle like this because this hook here. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like, and subscribe, um, because that'll help me and thanks for watching. Right. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention is this slot can hold a 2.5 inch, 2.5 inch um, SATA drive, SSD or spinning hard drive, um, but you do need to get one of these adapters to connect this. Um, at least that's what it looks like this is for. So yeah, if anything, just if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Um, this is a customer's computer, so I probably won't have it by the time you ask that question, but I'll try and look things up if you need help. Um, and again, like and subscribe because that will help me. And thanks for watching. Bye.